good morning everybody this is your girl Reneval and first of all welcome to this podcast of to discuss the fuss this is the episode two and it's going to be about the Cardi B situation if you're new to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell so you'll be aware of further notifications Aquaba welcome bienvenue and caribou on this platform where everybody is welcome if you've been rocking with me since the beginning i'd like to thank you and also don't forget to like share um, this video this podcast with other people so they can also enjoy it too so what we'll be discussing today we'll be talking about cardi b video wap and also her political stance so i'm gonna play a snippet of the video for copyright reason and then I'm going to come back to you with the rest of my commentary. I want you to touch that, touch that. <laughs> that swing in the back of my, my talking is fire. The sun, the sun is going to dry. And it's okay, we, we have a snippet of it of a video. If you want to watch it furthermore, you can find it on YouTube everywhere. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below, in the description box below, so you can have a look at it in your spare time. So my thought about the video is that um, first of all, I found the video to be over-sexualized. I mean, we've seen um, sexualized video before, and we know that sex sells within the music, rap, pop industry. But this is clearly over the top. Before, we used to have video that, was, that would leave a bit to the imagination. But on this one, everything is just out there. But what we can't deny is Cardi B is catering to her demographics. She's catering to a particular genre of people that, that like this kind of music, that follow this kind of music, that like it nasty. So she knows exactly what she's doing and she does it pretty well. So it, the sad part about this is it shouldn't be so easy to access. It's almost like we are watching free porn, but sadly, this is the world that we live in. and. That is what people want. Otherwise, the song won't be number one. I can't be mad at Cardi B because she's unapologetic and she does what she does very well. She goes all the way with it. And that's probably why all these men are mad um, about her, particularly these rappers like CeeLo. I mean, CeeLo was saying the right thing in his comment which I will also put up for you to see. But once again, it's the right message, but the wrong messengers. We all know how it's been controversial over the years. Um, so, they've, and most importantly, all these rappers, they've all been doing the same thing. Since the 90s up to now, they've all been singing about peas and holes and, and drugs and killing people and so on. So the difference here really is like the pot calling the kettle black. It's just that she's doing it very well. <clears throat> Another point is that even though um, I like Cardi B in small dosage, I like to listen to your music when I'm in that. I want to get into that nasty mood and I want to get pumped up. And she has a market for it, obviously. And most importantly, what I like about her is she gives other female rapper support so she gives them an opportunity to shine she's not afraid to support people that are not so well known she either does that by featuring them on on their songs she did a featuring with a few people like uh how those girls call from miami the um, that miami girl group you know what i'm talking about and she did featuring with these these girls she also promoted the album on a page and when she likes you she really goes hard for you and um doing another featuring with megan the stallion is also a good look not just for her but also for both of them and she featured a few rappers or a few singers in her video that we also give them a boost because she has a large um she has a large um, um she has a large uh, she has a lot of people that follow her right so we if you seen the video you can see she's featured um normani she's also featured um uh, what's that other girl from uh, love and hip-hop 
Miami Sukiana. She also features Sukiana. So at least she stands for um supporting female rapper rappers, but at the same time is not for everybody to see. Then again, some people will say if you don't want to see the nastiness in the videos, don't watch it. But nowadays, it's all too accessible to children who are underage to watch this kind of videos because it's out there. Um, YouTube don't have so many restrictions anymore. Um, none of the less TV and even TikTok. That's where all the young kids are nowadays. I'm not, but hey, that's where all the kids are nowadays. They do. They already start to do the. the, the they've already started to do the dance challenges and so on. So. It's pretty sad to see. So once again, it's not for um, Cardi B to do the job for us, to educate our children or to protect them because she's educating, educating her own daughter. So that's our job as parents to do. And she said it herself. She's not here to be the role model for our kids. We have to be the role model for our own kids, right? So we just have to double up on our measures and everything else to protect and the innocence of our children because i remember back in the day we used to have um like bet and cut for this kind of video that are very visual and graphic and they used to be played at a certain time at night like 10 p.m midnight you know even on kiss the channel i remember like this of a sexualized video used to be played very late because the assumption was children were in bed so it's only for grown up for adults but nowadays you find it everywhere easily accessible children sing to it you know when they're very young and so on so that's my stance on on on, on cardi b i don't i don't really like the song wap it's not for me and i don't really like the video it's a bit too graphic because it made me feel very uncomfortable watching it but um I would think that if I was in the club, in that nasty mood, and that song really came on, then I'd probably enjoy it. I'd probably bump into it. I'd probably bump to it, do my two-step, and then do this. All right? So, the next topic that we're going to go on is still about Cardi B, and now it's about a political stance. So, we've seen it over the years that Cardi B has been dabbling into politics and giving her topic left and right so she did it first with bernie sanders i'm gonna play you a snippet of a clip so you can see what she was talking about and then i'll come back with the rest of my commentary no it doesn't how do you pay your rent how do you pay for food how do you pay for transportation okay if you like to see the full conversation um you can always uh click in the description box below to watch it and she also did a more recent um interview i believe it was the in a in a in a, um in the same optic as a spread in l magazine and i'm also going to play a clip for you guys to see um a snippet of it what she discussed with um a boy um uh um the next with the candidate um <laughs> they're saying hopefully the next president of the united states of america so you can see um and then i'll come back again with the rest of my commentary for is getting interpreted in a very different way no it's simple we just want justice that's all we want justice we there want to go like so you rather look at both um the second interview was with joe biden that's the name i was looking for so first and foremost this is another case of right message wrong messengers i understand the message that she gave and she made a few good points about black lives about black people being killed without having any justice i agree with that she made another point about free medicare for everybody i agree with that because health life is just priceless she also made another point about free education for everyone I completely agree with that because knowledge is power. And the last point that she made, I think, was about um the COVID-19 or the C-19. Just to be aware of um, what is going on. Have a clear plan. Have a lot of transparency and not being lied to about what to expect, what to do. Uh, so we cannot get back to normal life.
right so all these are valid points my problem with it it is coming from her not so much from her as a human being it's not personal but it's just politics it's a game that needs to be played by politician we all know it's a game and we all know that you have to have um certain abilities to take part into it but i guess i can't really blame her because that really went out of the window when donald trump became president of the united states four years ago so as far as i'm concerned she can have her own opinion but she can be taken too seriously because of her background and because of also what she does as a as a, as a living she used to be an ex stripper and now she's a rapper and then she's talking about wap and all sorts so i can't take her seriously when it comes to politics so she shouldn't speak on these issues because it's almost giving the wrong impression like it's not a it's a game because people don't think it's that serious and just because she did a couple of interviews with two politicians it doesn't make her a political expert so people should also take that into consideration she's just giving her opinion like everybody else the only difference is she has a large platform behind her that support her so um the thing is what really saddens me is that cardi b can speak for black people right because in my eyes, even if she has a drop of heritage of blackness, she's not a black woman and I wouldn't want for her. Nobody made her a spokeswoman for what black people go through or for Black Lives Matter. She can have her opinion, but we don't need her to take on that fight because it would just turn on as a joke. In fact, the whole American election is a circus show is really turned into a comedy like the laughing stock of the world because we they ended up um the country ended up with a showman as a president with a next playboy model as a first lady and uh, they even had an attention whore rapper as a candidate and now we have a next stripper who wants to share her political views i mean what the hell right why not so my biggest fear is that Cardi B, just like Kamala Harris, are being used by the Democrats for black vote. I mean, the Democrats will do anything to get the black vote, particularly when they know that Trump is less likely to do that. So they're heavily relying on that to win the election. And as black people, we should think that even though we wouldn't want to be used or treated as idiots when it comes to the election because we can clearly see what is going on. But we need to have the bigger picture in mind. Like it's not about electing the right po the right candidate at this point. At this point, it's about getting Trump out of the White House. So there's only two choices. Unfortunately, we choosing between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. So to get Trump off the house. We have to support Joe Biden. That's just what it comes down to. But it just doesn't sound very genuine to me that all of a sudden all these um, white old candidates are running towards um, the black people for votes. It's always the same dance and the same song that happens um, around election time. And once election ends, we don't see any of the promises that have been made. We don't even see the dialogue um opening up like the way they're trying to opening opening it now so again it's just another circus another mess and uh, we hope that the mess ends soon and then we get back to real politician doing politics that's what we want to see we don't want uh, people who don't have the curriculum we don't have the education we don't have the, the experience to attempt to uh, run the white house on this note, and this is the end of the Discuss the First Episode 2. Uh, let me know what you think about this podcast and if you enjoyed it. And what do you think about the situation with Cardi B? Is she uh, allowed to, to speak on political matters? How do you feel about that? Can she be the voice of black lives? Also, do you consider her as black or not? Okay, these are the, the, the questions I like to 
have an answer to we can all discuss it in the comment below you can also find me on instagram at the baby girl so thank you my turtles for listening to this podcast and i see you again soon don't forget to subscribe to hit the bell also to like comment and share this video thank you till next time bye